start. So I'm just gonna stay a panelist here. So yeah, well, yeah, you 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 can start, and that 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 makes it technically online. Um, okay. Um, or you can wait. And I think somebody else joined us. Here's Carol. Hey, Carol. Hello. Yeah, we're. Uh, it was like well, it, it, it's funny. It's always these borderline calls with with kiddo. Like, and yesterday we sent him and probably shouldn't have. And today he's a. Uh, He's got an intermittent nasty cough, but also a lot of energy. So we're sort of <laughs> managing that. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, and, and, and you all have that document, right? I think that was yeah, the one that has. <laughs> okay. It has Shelley's edits and mine, right? That yeah, and I I, I, I kind of started adding some stuff. I was actually hoping to work on it a bit more this morning. I, I haven't been able to. I don't know uh, if I got the one. I had to go find the one where you added something. I sent um, one last night with a couple of, yes. but they weren't they weren't so substantial that um, I think the trick is going to be somebody with Microsoft Word is probably going to want to share. I don't, Erica. I don't think you had that right. But no, no, because I worked on it last night and I'm like, crap. This thing is you know Google Doc. So yeah, yeah. Carol, do you have Microsoft Word in your machine? No. Nah, well, I have some facsimile thereof it's not google docs it's what the heck is it called open yeah, office Libra. open office yeah yeah um i mean did, did, did the track changes um yeah tra thing? track changes well, i can't find the one that's all i'm trying to find what you sent uh let yeah. me see i may be able to find that one well here um, it is for tomorrow wait, i got it yeah you got it okay uh and i, I got it now okay. it has opening itself or trying to <laughs> I didn't make much in the way of, I didn't make any, certainly any major changes, Not, nothing on the. Does this show, if I just look at it, I got to open it or download it or something, because otherwise I don't think it's going to show me the comments, which are kind of important. Yeah, the comments are important. It should. Um, why don't you, well, maybe we should see when, if, if Rob gets here, if he's got word, it might be. No. Or you could, I mean, you, and while we're waiting here, you 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 could open it too. Um, and just I see opened what it. it like. Doesn't it doesn't show? I have to download it, load it to get it to do anything useful. Oh yeah, yeah. So maybe download it and then open it and then, and then Erica, do you know how to um, share? I mean, well, so I think I, I well, who uh, probably Rob or Carol should be sharing, and I, I should yeah, because yeah, mine is not even coming up. I was going to do it. And then it's not even coming up. Why don't you see? Yeah, you know, well, well, if, well, if Rob well, gets here, I have I could, something now. Let me see. You want me to see if I can share my screen? Yeah, we'll, we'll let you share, or, or, or uh, Erica might need to. Um. Somebody has. Let's see. Um, share screen. Oh, I have to get the right thing on my screen, or else I don't even they, want to share my they, screen. Yeah, Wait a minute. Um. You can share a window or or your whole thing, probably the window might be. I wanna share this. Did that work? It's coming up, I think. Yep, there it is. And are the comment, can you see the comments in there? Yeah, okay, there's the comments. Um, yeah, it's it's all here. I don't, I'm, these things are so freaking hard to look at. Sometimes, Sometimes what I will do to look at it is go and ask it to show it to me yep. without showing me any of the changes. Just show me what's left. What does it look like now if we did everything it says here? Because so then you we'll, can read it. If you try to read this, you just make yourself crazy. <laughs> or I do. I I mean, it's, I important to, it's important to have it, but it's really hard to read it this way. <laughs> So what I would say is, you know, you can maybe, and, and yeah, d does open office have that option to sort of like, I think it's called simple markup maybe. No, so it's you, not, but it does somewhere. I don't know if I find sure, it yeah, here. They, they uh, call it different things in different programs, but um, probably in view maybe. No. I'm looking for it. I know I've done it before. So there is it. No, that's just without comments. It's where is it anyway? Of course, this thing on the top of my screen is in the way of me seeing my actual screen. Yeah, yeah no, it's the hard part. Oh, gosh. And mine absolutely sucks because I, I opened up the file, but it's you or the file. 
Yeah, here it is. Can, you can probably see it now. I got changes. I can record yeah. them. I can show them. I can accept or reject them. If I click show, if I unclick show, we shall see what happens. I think I can go back and do it. So there. Now that's yeah, how it yeah. looks without a bunch of every all everything in it. And if I go I think, back, so here, I think you're looking at the old version there now. Um, well, no, because she clicked on show to show. I, I, she unclicked. I might it was, have. It was, it was already clicked, and I think she unclicked it. Exactly. So I don't find the place again. So there it is. Changes. Show. Yeah, that was the one fall 2024. Yep. I don't. This what I don't know is other. I was going to see this has Greg's. Is this the right title of a document? I can't see that anymore. Um, uh, I can see it. Um, ye... Does that have your? There's all this bunch of stuff at the top of my screen that's making it hard that's to see. Um, no, I think that's not quite the one you want, actually. This is Marby, just the one with just me and me and. Um, that says August. You, you've done it since August, haven't you? I didn't. I don't know. The only way I can tell if it's really the one I had anything to do with is to go down to where I put in a. There. This says so, Carol Lewis. So uh, a comment from me. I only did that. Whatever the date it says is doesn't. I did it recently. I never did it more than once. So I did it recently. So I know I, that my things are in here. What I don't know, Greg, is whether this is the one that you. What did? Where would I find something that you did? To just check the one. So I I sent it out last night. Uh, I know. I thought I just opened that and downloaded it. So maybe it's not. I'm going to stop sharing my screen for long enough to go try to find this is like just uh I wonder if you had it I'm if you had sure. multiple versions of it in your downloads and, and I didn't maybe we can add, stop hey, here Rob. for the moment <laughs> Rob, <laughs> I'm going to stop Hi, away Rob. Minute, but Rob do you have word on your machine I do yes you know we, I, maybe and, and if, if you have access to that document I emailed out around five ish five fifteen ish last night Maybe I, I think maybe using Word might be a little bit cleaner than Open Office on Carol's machine. Um, so I would recommend maybe Rob shares his screen if, if that's Rob. Rob, do you do you feel comfortable sort of managing the track changes? Yep. I think I have the right one, but that Rob can share it. That's fine. It says da da da, da feedback, and then after that is a ten eight twenty four. Yeah, that's yours, just, right? So that's the one I have on my screen now. But I'm fine with Rob sharing his. I don't care as whatever. I, I suggest Rob do that just because I think I think the track changes device on in Word might be a little more useful than the Open Office. Um, this is this looks like the comment. I still have my comment in here, and I don't know. I what's something that you did, Greg? I just want to look and see that a, I can a few see things, it. You know. Um, uh, let's see. Um, it's weird. It's funny. I'm, I'm looking at it in my. There we go. I got something here. Let's discuss Amherst residents somewhere down here. Promote fair, equal access of housing for all Amherst residents, including a range of households. Let's discuss. Yeah, Amherst that was that was kind of, maybe that, that, that was perhaps like the one semi substantial thing that I came across that I, I wanted. Sorry, I'm just trying to find a quiet spot here. Um, uh, you know, I think. And maybe maybe that's the one thing I'll weigh in on here uh, before I peel off. You know, I, um, you know, I, I guess there's some. I, I, I'm thinking about local preference here. You know, and and how this might interface with that. Um, you know, ultimately, it's not our role in like project approvals to determine that either way. Um, you know. So I, I guess I wonder if, but so I wonder if we need it here, maybe, you know, um, um, in that, I mean, technically, so yeah, so I don't know. It's, I, yeah, I guess it's, 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 it's kind of a, um, uh, it, 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 it could take us down a wormhole, which I don't really have time to do right now, but, um, but I think it, it might be, it, it, it might be there, there's a few things that got subtracted, you know, uh, sustainability or environmental concerns or whatever that were that Shelly's point was like other entities are covering those concerns. 
Um, and I thought this might kind of fall under that category to some degree. Um, in, in, in that it, it could be interpreted as like, um, sort of like serving kind of Amherst residents sort of exclusively, you know, which I don't totally love in that. Like, I think, I think like, like housing resources, I think we should think of like part, part of this is about creating opportunities for folks who don't necessarily, um, live in Amherst, you know, but perhaps work here or, you know, um, you know, so I don't know that, that so that might be something just, just to, to consider as a group, you know, I don't know. People who want to be here, want but aren't. Correct. People yeah. Who you know. live, people who work here, but can't live here. Why is my exactly. thing yeah, vibrating? You know. I mean, yeah. I don't um, know. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so, I think that was, and, and I think the, the rest of my comments, I think we're mostly kind of agreeing with Shelly basically, or, or emphasizing something that she added um, or, or subtracted. So I don't know if I have anything else substantial in there. So, uh, if we how are uh, how shall part of the reason I wanted to do this today? This is really not. I'm I have a broken kneecap, just by the way. So there's oh. no way I'm going to last more than an hour at this. Just saying. Um, and so, but I thought that this is complicated enough that having three of us have a chance to do something or other with it, even though I don't know quite what that would be seems like something not to lose the opportunity to do because it's just, I, this isn't ready to go anywhere. It's not anywhere near ready to go anywhere. And I don't think anyway, because we, we had to hopefully get it a little bit more, uh, I don't know, or at least our thoughts a little bit more united about it before we do something else with it. And if the three of us get to talk about it a little in some way together that seems like not an opportunity to lose for so. sure um yeah i mean my process wise i would just propose you know uh, one way to go at it would be just to go through the proposed changes that shelly made um and just see how you know if you all have consensus on what she proposed and then you know and, and I mean, you, you could just go through and just click accept, accept, accept on the ones that are easy that you all agree on and then come back. And, you know, if, if, if there's some that merit more in-depth discussion, um, you, could, you could come back and, and do that discussion, you know, at least start that discussion, you know, whether or not you get through all of it. Um, maybe, maybe that's a good way to do it process-wise. One thing that's going to be just a little bit wonky about that is that I think we have finally concluded that the name is Municipal Affordable Housing Trust. And I didn't never went back and changed Shelley's edits with crossed out municipal, but we do want to have, we know we want the name to be the legal name that's in the, whatever that thing is called, the thing that created us. I forget its name right now. Um, yeah, the, the, declaration the, of the document of what is it called? Anyway, declaration. Yeah. yeah, that's it. The declaration of hoo ha. So, <laughs> so that is, we're not going to easily be able to do that, but you can just ignore that for the moment and somebody or other can go through and get it in there correctly, not while we're all trying to do it at once, I would say. Um, Rob, say something. <laughs> do you want me to share screen or? or, or well, I just know I wanted to be had a thought. No, I, I I agree that 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 at the very least we can go through and, and accept the easy ones so that we have a relatively clean document. Maybe there's a few things that, that we don't that we're not um, finished with. Eric, right now, it looks like there's lots and lots of things. I know there's yeah. yeah we, they're not really. Most of them are obvious. Yeah, I went through the document last night. Unfortunately, I can't split screens where I see you guys and the documents. So um, as we go through it, I'll, if, if you guys are going to talk, you might have to say something because I'm not going to be able to see you as as we're going through this. Well, I, but I think Rob could probably share his screen though, so you, you could all look at the document as he's sharing, and then you, yeah. you know he, he could just yep. kind of put cursor on on you know the the, the various inserts. Um, um, you know, right, but or, it, or it doesn't have it doesn't have my edits on there because it didn't. My stupid Google Chrome doesn't 
add them. So, so why, yes. why don't you, yeah, when, when you, um, yeah, but I think when, you know, it went, oh, I see. So you'll have to kind of remember what, uh, what, what you had. Um, right. um, yeah, I'm not quite sure how to solve for that, but. Um, There's got to be a way to do a split screen, but. Yeah. I mean, if you, if you can pull your, your zoom window out and, and, and just pull it all the way to the middle right side of your, um, of your, of your monitor. Yeah, I did that. And then I opened up the file, but it didn't, it, it didn't come up. Rob, this sorry, looks yeah. like it is like we're seeing whatever Shelly suggested already done. Yeah, this is because it says she deleted municipal and municipal is deleted. Yep. So I don't know. I mean, however, we just know how we're looking at it. Right. So if we agree with that change, then I'll just hit yeah. check. Yeah, exactly. but we don't. Yeah, I think I, I think that's, that that's what, it's at yeah. least skipping the municipal. I just want to make sure what I'm seeing. So we're not anything that she changed is not going to show up on the document. It's only going to show up on the side where it says that she deleted it or she did something to it. It's not in here right now. Oh, I see it. Town of Amherst crossed out municipal. Yeah. And I'm whatever I'm looking at, the screen that I see shared doesn't it doesn't have it has over at the side. Um, do Shelly deleted municipal and it so shows where she deleted it from, but it's not there in the text. Oh, I see it. So mine it shows the That's cross. That's weird. Up. What do you yeah. see, Rob? I'm seeing what you're seeing, Carol. OK. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I agree. I, I, I and and um, Erica, I think you should be looking at Rob's screen now. So you should be looking at the Zoom window. <laughs> That's right. Um, Sorry. You're look at both of them at once, Erica. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't look at both at once. Uh, so, so, yes. so, yeah. So I'm I'm gonna have to jump off here, but I but, but I think um, I think that the, the I actually think the naming convention is probably not going to trip you up too much because I think in most places in the document it refers to the trust um, and, just, and not yeah. The, yeah. We're just and we know we have to go back and look at that, but worrying about it now seems like not necessarily so maybe, maybe useful. All right. So correct name. Mission. Check the correct name. So so yeah. So Rob, you want to just maybe share this, uh, whatever, wherever you guys get, you maybe just save a new version of that document and and and, and email it to the group, um, and then so I, I can and I'll I'll come back and watch you know watch, watch video if 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 one of you tells me to or if or else look at the document. But um, okay. So I'm gonna jump off. I think is is that okay or is, is there more Dude, context? I can yeah, offer go right do now, what or? you need to do. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. It looks um, like thank, Nate thank is here all the way. Oh, also, by the way. There you He's go. Probably just uh, listening. Um, all right. Yeah. So uh, yeah, well, hi, Nate. I'm, 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 I'm just hanging I think, out here. I think they have a plan to, to just sort of, this is the, 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 the trust mm -hmm. guidelines document, which um, Shelly did some edits on uh, and, mm -hmm. and the, the group is going to um, kind of accept or reject or discuss those uh, here. So uh, I'll, I'll leave it to you to, um, weigh in or not, but I'm going to jump off here actually. And, and, and uh, Erica is the host, by the way. Sure. All right. All right. Thanks all. Good, Good luck with your parenting. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Bye. Yeah. I was going to say, I think, you know, we talked about this a little bit last time in terms of, you know, how was it used and, you know, how, how structured and important is this, you know, other communities only have like a page or two and this is 21 pages. So, um, you know, yeah, I might turn my camera off, but I'll be listening. And then, you know, if you have any questions, just say my name. Um, you know, I think some of this was when this started, you know, John wanted to be really judicious about how we allocate funding. <clears throat> and I think that's a good thing. Um, I just want to make sure it's, you know, what we think the trust would want and, and it makes sense. And so, you know, uh, we structured it almost as like a request for a proposal document with a lot of information. And it doesn't necessarily have to have all that. So, I don't uh -huh. think we we've looked we've looked at the guideline parts that is a for before the application thing. We haven't even looked right. at the application. Yeah. And I believe yeah. that you'll find that the way that it's been edited makes it shorter. Okay. Whatever else. There's more taken out than added, I think. Right. So true, but the other piece well, we can get to it, but I, I think the whole last section is an RFP section we don't even need. But we can get there. Well, right. Well, right. I mean, we haven't considered it yet. That's all. I'm. Yeah. I agree. I think it's way too long. But let's do what we're trying to do now. 
which yep, is yep. we aren't even there yet. Let's do this part. <laughs> okay. So, so go through the pages. So yeah, Rob, you want to get to the actual beginning of where there's narrative or whatever you would call it. So I accept all of these? No. Nope. <laughs> no, exactly, because we can't know the name is wrong. So just skip this page, yeah, I would okay. say. I it was right there. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> okay, process just has to be capital. No big deal. But guidelines and application process should be capital. Oops. And then we can accept it. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> so you're gonna have to go a little slow because I have to go between two documents. Okay, all right. In that, let's just go for uh, the mission and mission statement instead of. So this is how what what I'm looking at is the way that it would read if we accept it. I think right, absolutely. Yes, because she deleted a bunch of stuff and mission statement goals and strategies. Except she didn't have strategy, did she? What? Uh, she had mission statement only, and then goals and yes, yeah, and strategies. She did put in stress, or somebody did. Uh, let's see. I don't know. know. I can no oh, longer Greg. know what I'm looking at. Somehow. No, no. Greg did. If you look at the comments, she removed strategies, and Greg and he, put it back. Yeah, maybe it's because she spelled it wrong. No. Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't know. And then the goals and strategies that are here are our strategic plan statement instead of whatever else was there before, right? Right. And are we going to change it to two or more the way we talked about it in our last meeting? Yes. We're going to make it match. It, it, we're going to make it match whatever in the world the strategic thing comes out to be. And if that, I don't know if we have back a final draft of it, but that's what will go in here, right? Right. If, if whoever put the two or more, wherever they put it, I don't know. Right. But so we could try to change that now. That's cool if you want. But my comment, I would add a comment here. This will match our plan when it's been finalized. Yeah. And then yeah. that's that. Yeah. So match whatever the final. Can you add, can you, Rob, can you add a comment like that or something? Yep. Or say at least, or match this. Or are we area. saying at more or more? Uh, well, we I think we had um, identified two or more parcels. We we put that one in there. But um, I think what Carol said is we can just put a comment in saying whatever the final action plan is, this section will match that. Should match that. Okay. Yeah, if you just put that comment, then we don't have to deal with the nitty gritty of it right this second. And at some point we'll have it so we can just drop it in there. It will be simple-ish. Yep. 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 Who's Johanna? Uh, What'd you say? <laughs> Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> call again. No work. Okay. okay. So all the way down. So and oh a D can um you see where the D is uh, above under funding? That one was highlighted. The D was highlighted. I wasn't sure why. Does anybody know why it was highlighted? There was no comment attached to it. No, I have no idea. Okay, so just remove highlight. That one, the oh. highlight should be removed. Well, the whole thing is going to be whatever it is when oh, we yeah, finish fine, it. So fine. yeah, yeah, that's fine, fine, fine. Just, just ignore it then. Okay, let me look. Uh, okay, under education, does it have Allegra next to the first paragraph A and B? Because that should be removed too. But that'll just be removed afterwards. Yeah, I can remove it. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. 
right. So Shelley removed a lot. What do you think about that whole section? Well, I think that this whole thing should should match the plan that we are creating, and then that's all it has to do, right? I mean, that's right. Right. I, it starts with our mission. It starts with our mission statement. That is our mission statement, and then it has our plan that we've just developed, and then it goes on to whatever it goes on to, which I guess is roles and responsibilities. But I don't think we have to do anything else with that part of it. That's I my agree. opinion. Yep. Oh, I can accept this, Alicia. Yes. Yes, and she actually also has. I would replace this list with a new goal strategy to show the work here. Yeah. Yep. So. Same thing, yep. So then, I'm not sure what you're doing, I'm Rob. Either. I'm just highlighting what where, where these comments and, and additions refer to. Um, okay, so we'll leave that in to add a live link. This one is... So she's suggesting deleting this sentence in no event. Yes. Wait a uh, uh, Deleting that sentence? Oh, I thought she... The sentence is duplicative of what is under the powers of the trust. Okay. Uh, yes, because it comes somewhere else. Oh, I thought she left it the way I saw it. Um, yeah, she I left it, but she's suggesting deleting it. I, yeah, I mean, I actually think it's illegal um, as public employees to intervene. Yeah. Or All right. not I'm illegal, but you know. What are you saying is illegal? Can someone catch me up? Um, so yeah. the, the sentence says that the trust, in no event shall the trust participate yeah. or intervene in a political campaign on behalf of any candidate for public yeah. office. And so typically as a, you know, you're considered a public employee, municipal employee, you're not really supposed to, um, I mean, I guess if it's outside of Amherst, but typically you're not supposed to use the trust or your municipal employee status to support a candidate. Right, so. right. exactly. So if it's, um, you think it's a moot point, we should just delete it? Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. I'm fine with that. I mean, it's part of our training when we do the ethics training. I mean, I guess, it, you know, it's funny. It's probably put there just so people see it, right? Like it's not, but it doesn't necessarily need to be there. No, I, I don't think it adds to the trust work or not, because right. I mean, we all have to do our ethics training and it's pretty right. clear. Yeah. You know, and that includes you can't even do a photocopy. You can't do any of those things. You know, yeah, right. yeah. I mean, if someone comes to the trust and wants their support for, you know, political office, we just say no. No, no. Individually, yeah. people can, but as right. the trust, no. Right. Yeah. Okay, so we're down to operation management and operations. Uh huh. I think. Okay. So. Well. well. Oops. Sorry. There, there's, there's a sentence to lead to trust and manage by a board of trustees. That's, I mean, that's self-explanatory, right? So. so there's a whole lot of deleted stuff there that Shelley deleted that I, at least when I looked at it, I thought, yeah, that's good. So. Me too. Yeah. The okay. simpler, the better. I had some comment here. I can't even read it now. Modify to account for... Oh, it was about the meetings, I guess. Virtual meetings, because we do have virtual meetings. Yeah. I also thought that, well, it depends where you are. Are you on the first paragraph in April or are you in the management operations? Management, management operations. operations. It says, it shall be a majority of the trustees qualified and present in person. So that was the part that I thought, well, they're qualified and present. They may, it might be virtually because that's how the meeting might be. So saying in person seems like we it needs to be changed some kind of way. Just yes. modify, mod, 
qualified and present at the meeting or something. Well, how about present? Just have a present. Present, yeah, just leave off in person. That's fine with right. me. And I have a clarification. We're appointed by the town manager, but it's actually approved by town council. And uh, so I was wondering if it should be the town manager as approved by the town council for a term not to exceed two years. Appointed by the town manager and, and approved by town council? Yeah. You could just stick that in there, that's fine. Yeah, because, um, I mean, I, I didn't even realize until later that I just thought it was Paul and that was it. Yeah, it's weird the way this is written. It's appointed by the town council and then reappointed at the discretion of the council. Right, right. So, exactly. I mean, it's actually both, both in both sets. Um, it's a little confusing. It's like, who's got the power to do what? Um. Well, as a kind of standard thing, usually the legislative body, it's mostly a, um, what do you call it, rubber stamp thing, unless there's some um, difficulty. Or your, uh, no, don't say that, Carol. <laughs> yep. All right, that looks good. So next paragraph powers. So uh, just out of curiosity, does the town manager have any role in reappointment? I assume so. Yes, he recommends. He's the well, whoever he she recommends to the town council, but it's the town council who actually makes the final decision. So they the approve it. I think he said it right. Yeah. I think they have the power to approve his appointments. Yeah. So that's yeah. what it says. I think that's right. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm asking I'm asking now about reappointment. About what I'm sorry. The way this is written, it, it seems like the town manager has no role in reappointment. I would just delete that last phrase. This here. I yeah. would just say <clears throat> yeah. Yep. Yeah, because yeah. It's it's a new appointment. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Two that's years perfect. Is a new appointment. Yeah. yeah. But but we generally it's two years times three. <laughs> We've been yeah, doing well, it. But, but it's just three do it's just three appointments. Okay. Three successful okay. appointments. That's all okay. it is. All right, all right. Okay, I have no comments on power is illegal. Uh, okay. Low and moderate income household. Right to receive, purchase, and convey real property. I mean, in this document, would it be worth referencing, um, you know, that this, there, you know, the powers are, um, you know, the trust is found in the general bylaws of the town. I mean, it's, you know, that someone can go and read it. Say that again, Nate, to be... The housing trust is, you know, uh, is part of the general bylaws of the town. So I, 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 to me, that would be important reference that it's, you know, you could say that it's a, whether in this power section or up above, maybe, I don't know. I was trying to. The, the section well, was April, 2014. Can I ask a question? What's the difference between the declaration of trust and the bylaws? which both seem to create somehow the truck. So I'm confused. Yeah, it's interesting. I actually, um, I mean, the trust statutorily has its powers in our bylaw and from mass general law. So I, I would, I think up above in April 14, the risk trust fund was created for yeah, provisions of mass general law. And then, um, after that's you know the reference and say something like and uh codified in the bylaws and the Amherst yeah and, yeah and codified in the Amherst general bylaws you could put down the bylaw number there or whatever the heck it is mm -hmm. there's some bylaw number which i don't know we know right now but it would be useful to put it there i would think uh it's 3.6 but it can it could change i would just say it's in the 
like what Erica said, and like codified in the general bylaws of the town as the affordable housing trust. Yep. So why why would it? Well, I guess except then you have to look. If you're really looking for it, you got to look for the whole stupid bylaws, which is how many pages is that? But but yeah, you know, it's a, it's a, as an electronic document now. It's um. Every section is hyperlinked. So if you just go to the table of contents and you click on the trust, it just jumps right to it. Um, okay. Yeah. We actually are running this. The bylaw has been updated periodically. And so um, <laughs> in our, uh, for some wetlands, we reference a very specific section and now all those numbers are wrong. So it's like you have to go change. Okay. You know, so it's, right. it's one of those things to me, it's like, uh, this is, just, you know, if someone's that interested in following it, they could. Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So I don't have any comments. I accept pretty much what she had. Uh, up to the last paragraph, I have a change in the last sentence before eligible activities, but I'll wait till we get there. We're on the legal status, I think. You had something? I want to go back to legal status. Um, um, um. Um, I, I, I'm, I was at this bullet right here, where it says we want to consider a funding bullet, and then that actually is a funding bullet, so I'm going to say okay to this. Yep. So she deleted a whole something or other. I don't remember what it was, but I think it was fine with me. Oh, the whole CPA stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. fine to not. That's part of funding. Yeah. It's not its own separate thing. Exactly. And the funding is a little bit more explicated in the next bullet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, I just have the last sentence. Uh, I was going to just modify a little bit on the funding. So what I have is what what let's just me just find this is a sentence that right now says the trust shall seek other sources yes, yes. okay go ahead <laughs> um the trust will seek other sources of funding as may become likely always using those funds in support of the purpose purposes and the trust's mission i was trying to make a little bit like shorter clearer so that's your your way of saying it or you have a, a change to propose to that no, that was, I just added, I think I shortened the last phrase. The trust will seek other sources of funding as may become likely, which was original. Yeah. Always using those funds in support of the purposes in the trust's mission. Okay. That's what it says there. That looks good to me. Okay. Perfect. Okay, eligible activities. Now we have just a bunch of stuff that's not there anymore. Right, yeah. eligible activities deleted. I'm fine with that because that was not even eligible activities, really. Funding priorities. This one, okay. this one I, I, I was challenged by. Oh, can we also make a note that the trust either has to be capital T or small T, because throughout the document it goes back and forth. And the same thing with the town, just drives me nuts. Yep, I'll, I'll write that in later, yep. Hey, Erica, Yeah. when we get it down to where we need to do all that kind of stuff, can you go through it once, because you're really good at it, and make sure that the capitals are right and the, all that stuff? Yep, absolutely. I would love that. You, I've, you've done that, oh, when we were co-chairs, you did that to my stuff all the time. Sorry. And I'm very, no, I'm grateful. I'm I, it's not what I, I'm saying. I'm grateful. <laughs> it's a, I'm not good at it. So. <laughs> so we don't have funding priorities. Yes, I, I just, this comment was addressed below, I think. Wait, Erica, you said you had an um, issue with something or a question about yeah well so <laughs> this here to me almost seems redundant to what our our up above is which is the action plans priorities to me the funding priorities 
should, what I would like to say is, yes, you can look at the housing production plan, which is going to change, but it really should, um, people should look at what our priorities are within our action plan. Yeah. It seems like the funding priority, if they were going to be anything, would be, I don't know, how you get funds. <laughs> I guess that's not right. That's funding. Um, anyway, I don't know. But what this, I mean, the way I see it is we will fund you if you meet our priorities. And our priorities is exactly what we have in our action plan. So uh, that's why I, I think this is sort of strange. I, I would say funding priorities refer to the action plan as well. I mean, I, I hate really having 2013 housing production plan when we know that there's going to be a 2020. For 2025 one maybe the town's recent housing the production town's plan? most recent housing production plan yes. how about that Instead yes date yes and then this you know it's so interesting because this focuses on rental and a lot of it focuses on rental and we also have home ownership that we're focusing on so it's uh I just don't think this section's in sync with our action plan. Um, yeah, I don't. So... You know, it bounces around. Um, so we can just say justified priorities are, are described above? Or I mean, what? The trust funding. Why don't we just have it leave that first sentence there and after priorities say, the funding priorities are as described above in our, whatever it was called. Right. And get rid of the rest of it. In, the, in section one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The only there. thing. There. Yep. The only thing that I would say is a little different uh, is where it says invest in developments that support neighborhood integration, breaking down historic patterns of racial and economic segregation, promote fair and equal access to housing for all Amos residents, including a range of household structures. I don't know what structures. Those are the only two um, that, that we don't specifically provide a detailed comment on, but um, yeah, I, I would make it simpler. I would, because the reality is our priorities have to do with our mission statement, our action plan. But it's so, okay. so you want to you want to delete all of this and and leave and leave these two as um, maybe in addition, <laughs> it is the trust's uh, role to then invest in developments that support neighbor, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I, I mean, you may want to leave it open to- you just say additional priorities or something or other, or um, I don't know what to call it. I mean, it's like, because I think this place, this is a place where we talk about uh, um, levels of affordability or something, which I don't know if we talked about up at the top. I don't, I don't, I don't know, but it does have to have home ownership in there. And I do like those two things, Erica, about neighborhood, whatever they were that I can't, I can't see them right now, but um, yeah. those two right there at the bottom, yeah. Invest in development that sports promote fair and equal access. And then there's the thing about Amherst residents. And so that's, I agree. That's like, eh, I don't know. Promote fair and equal access to housing for, um, that includes a range of household strategies. That would be fine with me. So for me, for me, it would be, you know, are, are these um, individually listed priorities used to gauge or deny funding requests? And so, you know, somehow they're used later in the document, keep them. If they're not, then I think it could be kind of a prose, you know, paragraph that just kind of highlights a few things and then refers to either the action plan and, you know, the housing production plan. I just, to me, it's, you know, like, yeah, I, I, I would worry that you're setting out, you know, additional priorities in this document that aren't somewhere else. And I think it could just be referenced in a paragraph. Um, you know, you know, I, you know, for instance, say you had two proposals, say the trust has two proposals at the same time. 
and maybe you're gonna have to then figure out, okay, what is the higher priority? Or if you don't have enough money, what's the higher priority? And, you know, if, if you feel comfortable that there's other documents provide that guidance, then I don't think you need to list it here. But if, if, if we don't think it's in those other documents, then maybe we list it here. I just, to me, that's the reason why you would have something like this. I mean, you know, you're going to, anyone who is seeking funding, they, they're not going to, they're not going to necessarily read this and be like, oh, I'm not a funding priority. I'm not going to apply to the trust. They're still going to apply to the trust. So if we think we're going to use it, keep it. Otherwise, I don't, I don't know if it's necessary to be very specific right now here. So well, they say I, it. Go ahead, go ahead Erica. Go no, ahead. no, no, you go first. Yeah, I think you were. <laughs> you had a visceral reaction, so <laughs> I want you to lose it. I, well, I guess that I like um, some of these things. It's nice to be able to say somewhere because, like the neighborhood thing and the uh, multiple levels of affordability in the same place, or however we even say that right now. They are important, uh, I don't know what to call them, lenses or something. So having them no place, I, I, I guess I am sort of agreeing with Nate that, what, that if there are things that are important us, to us to be considering, but they aren't specifically somewhere else, they could be here, but they don't have to be bullets. I don't care how they are. They could be a paragraph. It could say base, it could just say um, the fun funding priorities will consider the housing production plan and and the section above that says our priorities and uh, and all other things being equal. Don't say it that way. That's kind of stupid. But these are some of the other things we are hoping to encourage. Something like that. To me, it's almost uh, sort of a principal statement, and I'm wondering if it shouldn't be above uh, under our mission and our strategies. Um, and then they can refer to, again, above. Yeah, it could be. Funding priorities. This is redundant. Look above. Yeah. Or, or just, you know, I mean, uh, you know, the, the, the trust funding priorities are stated, stated in its action plan, uh, which, you know, is in sync with the, the most current uh, housing production plan. Um, and uh, applications will be uh, assessed based on how they meet those, you know, how they respond to those. Well, then what's the point of even saying it? I know. <laughs> Just leave yeah. the whole thing out. I. Uh. Okay, well, let's, how about we, we leave this go and come back to it later? Yeah, how about putting a comment saying, um, is this a redundant area or should we just uh, refer, and should we just refer to the above mission and action plan? Yeah. All right. Yeah, and it looks like she actually added those in there. And I remember she said she was going to send us Lynn's, and I didn't get it. Did you guys get it? Lynn's? She said, let me look at my notes. No. Uh, for section number four, whatever number four was, it doesn't exist anymore. Um, she said she was going to send, Shelly will send us Lynn's for number four values of trust. Um, so, yeah, I think she she's the one who put these. She added these two because in my document they're pink. They're not they're not black. So someone added these two. Yeah, she did. She added those from imported document. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we'll just leave it to reconsider in the future. All right. Okay, we're on a funding, funding priorities, funding guidelines. Whoa, no. good. <laughs> it's another one. So uh, another one, which. Did 
to me this is almost almost so specific but i mean i think minimally what we should have in here what what the town requires so nate whatever it is the the sort of baseline of what's required yeah i you know excuse me i think you know uh you know shelley takes a really a, to me a conservative approach in terms of the trust um actions you know she really thinks it's for you know the kind of like creation and support or whatever the um language is within the, the statute in our bylaw um and you know in and so you know with cpa funds uh it can be used for a number of things. If the trust has unrestricted funds, which it does, it could be used for a number of things. And, you know, the, we, there's not really, we don't have a requirement that it be a certain percent loan or anything else. And so, um, you know, I, I, I just, you know, for here, um, I mean, I think it's a good discussion, right? So, for instance, a ball lane project up in North Amherst, you know, they're using the Commonwealth Builder Program and the state realized, right, that people weren't building equity, especially, you know, they I think they, they call them like you know, disadvantaged populations. And so they, you know, they don't, they actually prohibit a, a, um, a restriction in perpetuity. So they're doing like a 30 year, probably 0% deferred payment loan. And it can be assigned and passed on to family members without penalty. And so, you know, we would follow that. Um, you know, for first time home buyer programs, we've allowed even a reduced term to help home buyers gain equity. And so, uh, you know, for here, it's, to me, it's almost like, um, you know, I think it could just be important saying that, you know, uh, as part of receiving funding, there'll be a, an agreement or contract with the, with the trust, you know, in conditions for, to receive that funding, which may include, you know, restrictions loans or you know or some other things i don't it just to be really specific here like a zero to two percent interest we don't i mean we've never done a an interest bearing loan that then accounting has to follow up with um so i no. i mean i feel like we could say it again without being so specific unless there's a certain piece here that you really like but i, I think it could be made more generically that there'll be a before any funding is released you know or you know there will be a contract with conditions and could be repayment clauses or whatever. I don't know. I feel like we could say it without being so specific. Um, yeah, because I, I don't know, my comment over there was if if we, if somehow we provided some gap funding to something and that let somebody get in a house that they wouldn't otherwise be able to get into, then um, maybe that's fine. And maybe if they sell it outside of the affordable limits, but they pass back something, maybe that's fine. And I don't know how to write that, but you would write it when it happened, when something like that was about to happen, then you would figure out exactly how to do it. That would work. And you wouldn't that's want this to make it. So you weren't supposed to do that. You would want that to be okay. I think. I agree. I agree. I, I agree with you and, and Nate that this should be much more general to give us the flexibility to look at, the particular situation and if it's within the principles that we have in terms of you know uh someone who uh, who's never been from you know uh, the ability to create equity to create equity or whatever I, I, let's keep it more general i mean the trust tends to really hash things out anyway so by the time we're done with giving <laughs> something, we usually have conditions so um I, I would agree leave it more general well, do you want to write something or come or? Uh, I think, Nate, could you say it again? <laughs> you actually said it, you know, that um, funding guidelines, you know. Yeah, I, I think, I don't know, I said something about like, you know, before the release of any funds, there would be a contract or agreement with the trust that, includes, that includes a certain set of conditions or a number of conditions. And yeah. I think we can go dot, 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 and then figure out how we want to, what we want to say yeah. after that. And the comment would be, this is too restrictive. We 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 want to be able to consider the situations and not, you know, have a straitjacket. Nate, could you like just write draft a paragraph that we could, or a sentence or whatever it is that we could stick in here? Yeah, and, and I mean, I you think said it, but it's hard. Yeah. I, well, maybe Rob can type faster than I can, I and he's got it all written down. I don't know. I make a note. I think that's good. I think you know, like I said, I think it's um. 
you know, really important. So we've, you know, through in the last, you know, seven years, we've done three different um, conditions with a first time home buyer program. You know, at first it was in perpetuity and that just seemed to not work. Then we did 45 years. And I think the last one was like 15 or 30. And we had different conditions in terms of repayment. And so, you know, I, yeah, I, I feel like we could list out a few maybe um, and I'll, I'll come up with some language, but yeah, I don't, to me, this wouldn't be the spot to, uh, you know, for instance, what if you did, you said you, you were only going to do 30 year loans and someone came in and said, I'd really like to do a 15 year. And you're like, no, I mean, I, I just don't, I don't think it's worth it to. Uh, totally agree. I, yeah. I don't think we have any. Yeah. Okay. What you got there is good. And we have to comply with CPA requirements anyway. So if it's CPA money, we have to follow that. If it's non-CPA money, we can be more flexible. Right. Yeah. Right. Maybe just, someday uh, we'll get some other source of funding that has some different set of restrictions. Who knows? Well, million yeah. and so, yeah. a million dollars. Yeah. I mean, the million, million dollars. That's pretty unrestricted. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I, I think, I think making this as general as possible because right now the document looks like we only do rental developments and home ownership, but you know, there might be some other oh, things. Whatever. And especially because somewhere else it says that one of the things we can do is stuff like fund, fund um, Greg's position. It says we can use money to support right. housing in ways that aren't strictly uh, making a living unit. Yep. That's under our powers. Okay. I think this is good. Application process. Hmm. I had no comments. That's at least, at least finally there are some sections that are short. Yeah. Uh, number seven, I did have a comment. This is what we just said for the, for the last time. <laughs> number seven. So number seven, um, it says after time frame, um, I just thought it would be good to write reporting of progress. <laughs> Because the next one doesn't really say that they're doing reporting. It says we're doing the reporting. <laughs> so I think the grant agreement should have something about their reporting of progress. So that would go past, I mean, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so the, the next one, eight, is interesting because it says project monitoring reporting. And so the monitoring is, you know, through EOHLC, making sure that, you know, that there is oversight. And then the second paragraph is about us reporting, meaning the trust reporting. Also, I still want to be able to count units, not just SHI. We can do the SHI. We can compare ourselves to other towns, but I still want to know what the real number of units is. <clears throat> Did you want to put that in there, Carol? Um, to ensure that units entrusted by the trust and intended for subsidized housing inventory meet all the requirements coming in. Well, I guess that's just some reporting thing. So we should do that. That's fine. And what this thing where we're supposed to have annual monitoring to guarantee <laughs> that the that the affordability continues yeah. feels like a pipe dream that we should right. continue to have. But well, as long as we have Craig, uh, Greg, maybe we can. <laughs> 
that. I, yeah, I will say the reporting thing is interesting. We um we have a new um you know software for building permits and for rent residential rental permits. Uh, Open Gov is the name, but mm -hmm. we're um Greg and I have talked about using it as um actually a software for inputting all the SHI units and he has a spreadsheet and we're starting to do this and then setting up an annual report form that would be sent to the property owners and managers. And so we haven't been as consistent as we have should have. And now, honestly, they're supposed to be reported to the state and then we would receive a copy. And so, you know, Caymans, for instance, does it with two properties and there's a few owners beacon does it, but some of the others don't. And so it's Stop. a little, it is a little weird that we, um, we're very explicit here in terms of the annual monitoring and reporting, but I think it is important to mention. Yeah. Um, uh, I would like to the thing that you just described, you know, the spreadsheet could also mm -hmm. have a column on it that has actual affordable units. Oh yeah. Yeah. We, yeah, we're building it. Um, the SHI actually now does that. The state started doing it last year. They show oh, okay. the, yep. Great. Yep. That's, which I think some people were really alarmed at, right? There's that article that said, yep. um, you know, like oh, on the SHI, there's like, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of units that actually aren't affordable. <laughs> there's like I six, know. I forget how when many I, it was, it was a lot. I learned that the first housing trust meeting or something I went to before I was on the trust, I remember you, Nate, were describing some project and talk and said, and then the SHI will, will include all of these. And my mouth dropped open. I was like, what? I remember coming up to you afterwards and saying, did you really, did that really true? <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I'm sorry. I'm no, my it's... pet peeves, I guess, so. <laughs> well, it's a shell game. <laughs> oh, it's like, a... huh, where are we? All right, um, we're under reporting. Uh, so I, I didn't have any comments under this project monitoring and reporting. Oh, I should delete things that need to be deleted. Yep. I had some comment here. What the heck was it? Uh, yours, is it on here? Uh, let's see. Where oh, it's just about that. So, oh, I don't know. I can't find it. Yeah, I don't see or your maybe name. Maybe I made it up. Oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. Uh, number nine, delete nine dot reporting from imported. Yeah, you yours was just delete nine, so it's one one section and not two separate sections. Mm, yeah. Okay. Okay, well, I've about used up my ability to sit here. Uh, can, yeah, and we're almost done. Um, we're just about at the end, I think. Yes, we're close to the end. Um, I, I thought we had said we were not going to put anybody specific. And we also questioned, do we need six hard copies now that we do everything by uh, electronically? Um, yeah. It shouldn't say Nate's name, and I don't think it should say six hard copies unless Nate thinks that that's still useful or somebody's right. even going to get them. Anybody yeah. who wants to make a hard copy can make it if they have an electronic copy. I mean, I think we should say, like, you know, an electronic and at least one hard copy. That's uh, fine. And then, yeah. yeah, we can figure that out. Yeah. Yeah, we don't, yeah, we don't, we, in, um, in uh, the 40B rules and regs for, uh, you know, applications like Wayfinders, I think we still say 20 uh, copies. And 20 so, copies? Oh, my God. And I think we used to, you know, have for all the ZBA members, for staff, for to have available for um, transmittals and then public meeting. And, oh, my gosh, I, that's that would have been expensive. Yeah. Uh, Nate, can we do your official title as opposed to your name or... Greg's official title as opposed to your name. But of course, then if you have to send the PDF, <laughs> but you know, I mean, the other thing though is, doesn't it say they have to meet with the, mm -hmm. the planning staff beforehand? So why yeah. put it on here? 
Where are you? First, a meeting with the town of Amherst planning department staff person who oversees the trust. That's fine. That's exactly what it should say. Right. To determine eligibility. And okay. then um yeah, the, the email thing is hard. We we have a general planning email, I guess, for the submittal of a hard copy. I think we could say um like we could say like housing trust staff liaison. Yeah. It, it, it'll get to whoever. I mean, that's how right. other things get here. Yep. That sounds good. It sounds like this is the right place to stop. Yeah, we didn't really look past this place, did we? Oh, That's I did. Well. <laughs> I got, I like look at the application and think this is completely overwhelming yeah, no, and I'm not even yeah, going it there. Is. It's like an RFP. Um, and, and it's also, some of it focuses more on development, but there are other things, doesn't see home ownership. So I think we should leave that till next Um I Erica, it. if you've looked at it, is there any way that you can share get to us what you've done? If it's, can you, did you mark up a Google doc or can you do anything that would let us, I mean, I know you've looked at it and I'd like the benefit of that looking somehow. Yeah. Well, I can, um, I can just share, I can send you the share document, you know, with Google doc, but what I've really done is made more comments than I've done with because it just is overwhelming. I think this is an RFP. This is this is the stuff that we did for Wayfinders I project. Know. You know, so I'll just share. I'll send it to you guys. Um, Thank you. Yep. And the only other thing I can think of is: Do we have another meeting set, or should we set or with anything? With Shelley, the seventh. When is it? The seventh. Yeah, with Shelley. Okay, let me make sure I have it on my account. November 7. Yeah, at 11. Okay, I got it. Okay, I think they were good. Oh, and thank you so much, Rob, for doing this. Really? I yeah. am very right. grateful. I'll send out a... Me too. <laughs> now, will you send us whatever that you did? Your yeah, version, yep. which is now yep. the most current version? Uh -huh. Great. Okay. Nate, thanks for joining us. It was helpful. Yes, yeah, so... very helpful. Oh, yeah, thanks, everyone. Sorry, my camera was off. I just didn't want you to see, like, the side of my face the whole time, Mezzos. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Multitasking, yep. Yeah, Let me yeah. get it. Yeah, no, thanks, Rob. This is good. I know um, I like Zoom so you can live edit, but, you know, last night at the planning board, I was doing it, and then everyone's like, oh, typo. Oh, you didn't yeah, quite say yeah. it right. I'm like, I know. It's, it's the pressure. <laughs> my hand stopped working. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thanks. I'm going to Thank go. you. Take care, everybody. Yeah, good thanks, luck, everyone. Carol. Hope you feel better. Bye. Bye.